A woman who lives in uptown Dallas woke up Sunday morning to that. Someone speared her car with a parking sign, sending it right through the windshield. She believes it's part of an ongoing problem with late night partiers in her area, but there are efforts in the neighborhood to change that. Fox 4's Richard Ray is live in uptown Dallas with uh, more on that effort. Richard. Hi. Hi, Steve. A program launched this spring to put extra police officers in Uptown Dallas on Friday and Saturday nights as a deterrent to rowdy clubgoers is being hailed as a big success. But stuff still happens, including one really bizarre and mean-spirited act of vandalism against a young nurse's car, a nurse who lives near here. So I was going to work at 6 a.m., and I went to get into my car, and there was glass all in the seat. And so when I turned and looked, there was a street sign coming right through the front windshield. What Amy Larson can piece together from neighbors who saw her car before and after, it happened between 10.30 Saturday night and 3 a.m. Sunday when an off-duty police officer came home and saw the resident-only parking sign protruding from her front windshield. Amy shared her pictures on the Nextdoor social media site asking neighbors to check their security cameras so far with no luck. It almost makes it worse that nothing was stolen, like they just did it to be mean. Um, but you can just see there's like glass. Uptown Dallas wouldn't be what it is. Uptown Dallas Inc. held its annual meeting tonight. In March, Dallas police, with funding from Uptown Dallas Inc., launched the Rover Initiative, adding officers on McKinney Avenue Friday and Saturday nights from 11 to 3 a.m. Four to five Dallas police officers uh, on foot, boots on the ground, uh, walking up and down McKinney Avenue between Allen Street and Ruth Street. Detective Albert Sanchez says the early results are very promising, a joint effort between residents, police, and bar and restaurant owners. A lot of the, the establishment owners uh, who are, uh, operate business along McKinney Avenue have been very well, uh, very receptive to the program and to the initiative and fully supportive. I've had pellet guns or pellet holes in my windows appear out of nowhere. Sarah Pollan is another homeowner in Uptown who's had sporadic problems with vandals. Both Amy and Sarah are frustrated with their individual cases, but both say that in general efforts to deter rowdy weekend crowds are working. But I have found the bar owners here are really responsible. Um, I know they try to keep the noise down for people that live here, and they really do a good job of trying to control that kind of crime. If you're wondering where that sign came from, or Amy tells us that it was knocked down about a year and a half ago and had been leaning up against a fence around the corner from her house, she says that uh, somebody from the city, she assumes, finally took it away yesterday, Steve, of course, after it was removed from her windshield. All right, Richard Ray reporting from Uptown Dallas. Thank you very much.